Welcome to Marker Board Videos. Today we're going to work on using digital roots to check addition problems. Let's take a look. 32 plus 11 is 43. Can we use the digital root to determine whether that answer is correct or not? And the answer to that is absolutely. The sum of the digital roots should be the same as the digital root of the sum. What do I mean by that? The digital root of 32 is 5, the digital root of 11 is 2, and the digital root of 43 is 7. The sum of the digital roots, 5 plus 2 is 7, is the same thing as the digital root of the sum. Let's try another problem. 80 plus 13. 0 plus 3 is 3. 8 plus 1 is 9. So our answer is 93. The digital root of 80 is 8. The digital root of 13 is 4. When we add those together, we get 12. We know digital roots have to be between 1 and 9, so the digital root for 12 is 3. What's the digital root of 93? 9 plus 3 is 12. 1 plus 2 is 3, so your digital roots match. I caution you in not simply relying on the fact that one has a sum of 12 and the other has a sum of 12. Go ahead and take it all the way down until you find out what the actual digital root is. And again, remember, digital roots have to be between 1 and 9. Let's try another one. 72 plus 14. 2 plus 4 is 6. 1 plus 7 is 8. The digital root of 72 is 9. No surprise there since um, 72 is divisible by 9. The digital root of 14 is 5. 9 plus 5 is 14, so the digital root is 5. 8 plus 6 is 14, and the digital root of 14 is also 5. Your digital roots match, and you've done the answer correctly. Can we do this with more than two digit numbers? And can we do it with more than two numbers? The answer to both of those questions is yes. 106, 593, plus 712. I've got a 5 here, plus 6 is 11. I've got a 10 here, plus 1 is 11. I've got 7, 12, 13, 14. So my answer seems to be 1411. Let's make sure we're correct. The digital root of 106 is 7. The digital root of 593, 5 plus 9 is 14, plus 3 is 17, 1 plus 7 is 8. The digital root of 712, 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 2 is 10, the digital root of 10 is 1. So we have 7, 8, and 1. If we add those together, we get 16. I'm sorry, I'm running out of room here. And the digital root of 16 is 7. I'm going to pull little star symbols around there. Sun, so it looks like a sun. We'll know that's the one we're looking for. What's the digital root of this? 1 plus 4 is 5, 6, 7. The digital root of my sum is the same as the sum of my digital roots. One of the state standards in Arizona is that students are expected to be able to add columns of numbers. In my class, I use pedometers. Each one of my students is given a pedometer and they record how many steps they walk each day. My students are split into groups of seven and every day, each student must add a column of seven numbers. The, co the numbers are usually four digit numbers, sometimes five di digit numbers, especially after a nice weekend. I always have uh, heated discussions. I hear heated discussions among my students as to whose column of numbers was added correctly because on a regular basis they come up with different answers. And I wait and I listen and I always hear a student say, can't we just use the digital root? Let's find the digital roots. And that's how they're able to figure out whose is correct. So they're starting to rely on it. Let's do one more example of using digital roots to check addition. 213 plus 567 plus 90. I shouldn't have written that one, that's good. Move this over here, 7 plus 3 is 10. 9, 10, 11, 11 and 6 is 17. 1, 3, 8, so 870. Does that make sense? That's about 100. That's about 200, which is about 300. And that's really closer to 600, so I expect my answer to be close to 900, and it is. The digital root of 213, 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 3 is 6. The digital root of 567, 5 plus 6 is 11, 11 plus 7 is 18. Digital root of that is 9. Guess what that means? Whether you knew it or not, that number is divisible by 9. 90 
The digital root is 9. That number is also divisible by 9, but I bet you knew that. 9 plus 9 is 18. 18 plus 6 is 24. 2 plus 4 is 6. So my digital root is 6. What's my digital root down here? 8 plus 7 is 15. 1 plus 5 is 6. My digital roots match, so I've done my answer correctly.